Hi there, Virgos. This is Astro Girl, and thanks so much for tuning in for the week March 17 through 23. And this week, Mercury, your ruler, the planet of communication and clear thinking, once again moves into Pisces. Now, Mercury was in Pisces at the tail end of 2013, and it was then moved into Aquarius, then it was retrograde in Pisces and Aquarius in February, and now it's back in Pisces after being in Aquarius. So it's been all around the world and back again. Prey lost its suitcase three times. Finally, Mercury is in Pisces and he is going to move on because it's been a lot of Pisces, Aquarius, Pisces. And it's not exactly happy having Pisces. Mercury is not happy with either sign. So you'll be pleased to hear that after three weeks, Mercury will move into Aries, a much better position for you. Speaking of Aries, the Sun moves into Aries on Thursday. Late at night, it sneaks into Aries, and it's a very interesting time because it's called the Vernal Equinox, which is really the system that sets up spring, fall, winter, summer, the seasons. It's the first day on Thursday of the big four seasonal markers in the sun's journey through the sky because the vernal equinox is one of the two days a year when the hours of day and night are equal. It's a day for all of us to push the pause button and perform a self-check to see if our lives are in balance. Since the body, mind and spirit are naturally re-energized in springtime, this is an easy week to get motivated and make plans for a brand new beginning. For those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, in Australia and New Zealand, it's a time for you to start to nest. The weather's colder, you have less hours of sunlight. It's a time for you to, you know, spend more time at home, spend more time with your partner and friends and really work on making social plans. It's much easier when the weather's warm, meet after work, and do something fun. But when the weather's cold, it's a little bit of a different story. Now, with the sun moving into Aries, it's moving into your eighth house of joint resources and joint uh, projects. So if you have been thinking about, you know, getting uh, something joint going together with a partner or a friend, this is the time to start talking about it. Thanks so much for tuning in, Virgos. I do appreciate your call, and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.